Let me show you how you can automatically warp the text around the image in Affinity. Let's start by placing some kind of image frame. Now we'll put the image in it by clicking on the replace image button. Here it is. And as you can see now it's simply above my, my text. If I want the text to be in front I can just drag the layer down. But that's not the goal here. I want the text to kind of escape and not overlap with the image. It's a bit counterintuitive because if you select the text and go up to the text menu, there is text warp. If you select settings, you can now change the warping of the text to let's say tight. Click close and you will notice that nothing happened. Why is that? because we need to set up warping on the object, not on the text. So I want the text to respond to this image. That's why I select the image. Then I head to text menu, text warp, settings. And here I can set up this for an uh, object. And it's pretty good because you can have different settings for different objects. So if I move this now around across different pages, different text boxes, it remembers the warping setting for this certain object. So that's how you really do it. Not on the text, on the object. So on the shape, on the image, on the object. So click on the object, text menu at the top, text warp. I hope this was helpful. See you in the next one.